Hello everyone. Here is an introductory video on a new study item called New Radio uh, Light or NR Light. NR Light was introduced as 3GPP release, uh, release 17 study item in 3GPP RAN meeting number 84, which was held at Newport Beach, California on uh, from the 3rd to the 6th of June 2019. This feature was initially called NR Lite as in L I T E, uh, uh, but the name was then changed to NR Lite as in L I G H T. In this presentation, we will use the terms interchangeably, and this is mainly because some of the presentations we will be referring to use the term light as in L I T E rather than the light. So, a quick recap uh, of release 15, 16, and 17 timelines. So you can see that all release 17 content is expected to be approved by December 2019, uh, which is in the next few weeks. Uh, then the specification work will start next year. And finally, we can expect release 17 freeze in June of 2021, followed by ASN freeze in September of 2021. Now, this slide is just showing the features released in release 15 and the features coming as part of release 16. Release 17 content is not completely approved yet, but we do uh, uh, have a good idea right now that we can expect most of the items to be around, uh, you know, when the content is approved in the next few weeks. So you can see a, a, a blinking star, which is basically pointing to NR light as this is one of the items which is uh, expected to go through as a study item for release 17. We are also going to look at some spider diagrams to help us better understand this feature. We produced a video on this topic recently. If you do not understand them or don't know what they are, uh, please check out the tutorial. The link is on the top right corner. Now this is the enhanced mobile broadband or EMBB uh, spider diagram. As you can see, the emphasis is on the peak data rates with a reasonably low latency and a reasonably high reliability. On the other hand, for URLLC, there is a very high emphasis on low latency as well as high reliability. We expect 5 nines reliability and this requirement uh, is going to be changed from uh, 3GPP release 16 onwards to 6 nines. Now we have a nice tutorial on this topic. So see on the top right for the link. EMBB and URLLC devices can be considered as high-end premium UEs. We can summarize the requirement of these UEs as shown in the table here. This table is originally from the Qualcomm document whose reference is provided at the end of this presentation. As we discussed, the main difference between them is the data rates, latency and reliability. While we do not have any commercial URL LLC devices in the market right now, smartphones and fixed wireless access devices are example of premium 5G UEs. Moving on to the IoT part, as you can see from this spider chart, LTM and NB IoT uh, devices offer similar capabilities. While LTM is able to support higher data rates, the trade-off is that the battery life is lower and the cost is generally slightly higher. So going back to the table, we can now see the requirements of very, uh, very low end devices that would be used for low power, wide area, massive machine type communications. Similar to what we saw in the spider charts, the device complexity requirement is very low, which would keep the cost down and also contribute to the very long battery life. Important to note here, that while coverage requirement for EMBB and URLLC is shown as normal, the coverage requirement for IoT devices are, is, is shown as extreme. This is mainly because in many cases, the IoT devices will only transmit once. If there is no reception, the message will get lost. For reliable reception, the IoT devices do transmit with a much higher power as compared to the normal cellular transmissions. 
So this is just the combined spider chart with EMBB, URLLC, LTM and NBIoT. At this point, let's look at what kind of devices are included in the NR Lite. As you can see in this slide from Qualcomm, there is a requirement for devices uh, in between. So variables, sensors, cameras, relaxed IoT, etc. These devices do not strictly fall under the EMBB, URLLC and MMTC. So this is the void that NR Lite is trying to actually fill in. So what are the different type of NR Lite UEs or devices? So the first one is the IWSN or Industrial Wireless Sensor Networks. Example of this would be microphones, uh, carbon dioxide sensors, pressure sensors, humidity sensors, thermometers, cameras, video cameras, etc. Variables and sometimes, uh, you know, very low end variables. Relaxed IoT. So the different terminology for NR light being used in the studies include low tier 5G UEs, IWSN and mid end IoT. So I guess a question that many people will have here is why not use LT instead of 5G for these kind of devices. So to preempt discussions like this, Nokia provides an answer in this slide. The main being there is no need to support different kinds of networks, especially in the long run when some operators are trying to uh, going to try and move everything over to 5G. The other being that the 5G NR provides better system efficiency. So it should also be noted here that while 5G can work in all 4G bands, 4G cannot work in all 5G bands. So this is an important point which we have to remember for new features going forward. This slide from Ericsson is talking about the requirements for connected industries. Ericsson believes NR Lite is very important uh, to meet the industrial IoT or IIoT requirements. This slide from Nokia is similarly highlighting the industrial use cases and pointing out where URLLC is required, where EMTC and NBIoT are required and where NR Lite will have a role to play. So now looking at this complete table for the low tier 5G UEs, which we discuss is another name for NR Lite devices. Uh, uh, starting with industrial sensors and video monitoring. We see that there are no special requirements for these kind of NR Lite devices. While the bandwidth requirement for the freemium 5G UEs is wide uh, and that for very low end devices is narrow, the bandwidth requirement for NR Lite devices will be medium. Fortunately, there is a native feature in 5G called the bandwidth parts that allows devices to have lower bandwidth than the one that networks is supporting. Then you have the low end variables that have lower data requirements and low device complexity. This would be mainly because these variables require a very long battery life. Finally, we have the relaxed IoT. If you compare it with the very low end IoT that is LTM or EMTC and NBIoT, you will notice that NR Lite relaxed IoT devices would have higher reliability and data rate support, while the battery life won't be as long as the traditional IoT or MTC devices. So if we draw a spider diagram, NR Lite devices will support a reasonably low latency and a reasonable reliability. Again, a reasonable peak data rate support and no requirement for very high coverage. The devices would be reasonably low cost, but the battery life won't be as good as in case of other LPWA devices. So if we put all the spider diagrams together, then we can actually compare all that we have been discussing. 
you can see the argument why the industry feels that the existing three types of devices that is the EMBB, UR, LLC and MMTC devices cannot meet all the 5G use cases and there is a need to introduce a category in between all these three. This item is going to be studied for release 17 so we will find out next year what direction this study takes. It may be possible that this is approved as a feature for release 17 itself if the changes required are very minimal. But if there are lots of changes required leading to lots of specifications uh, that needs changing then this will get pushed to release 18. We will have to actually wait and see uh, at least till mid or end next year. So finally here are the references for further study on this item. The slides will be available on our slide share channel and you can go to the 3G 4G blog and go to the links from there. So we hope you like this short tutorial uh, on this upcoming feature. As always, please feel free to leave a feedback or any kinds of comments, suggestions, corrections, etc. Thank you and goodbye.